Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I have taken up a challenge that I honestly never thought I would attempt, and that is using the scan bolt on the crossbow to kill my enemies. And I have been always getting this suggestion. You guys, on pretty much every single video for this terrible weapon challenge series, there's at least someone who is thumbsing up the comment scan bolt only. And every single time I see it, I'm like, no, absolutely not. There is no way I'm going to be able to make that work. And I've done some pretty ridiculous challenges. I've used the tow missile, the stationary tow missile turret to snipe people from a distance. I've used C4 only. I've done some pretty ridiculous things for this video series, but I honestly did not think that I would use the scan bolts ever to take out my targets because, I mean, numerous, numerous things are making this almost impossible. The first and probably the biggest thing is that it only does 24 damage if you get a headshot and 10 damage if you get a body shot and that's at all ranges so it's it's very consistent but if a medic places down a med pack and I just shot him in the chest continuously with a scan bolt because of the health regen on the health pack I would not be able to kill him. I would run out of ammunition before I would able to be able to take him out. And it's for that very reason why I was like, this would never work. And so I got to thinking, how am I going to kill someone with the scan bolt? And how am I going to be able to do this consistently? And so I decided to use the M98B, that you're going to see that throughout the entire round, with the suppressor, kind of sneak around, try to take my enemies off guard, try to find someone that's camping, shoot at their lower body so I don't get a headshot multiplier or an upper body shot multiplier, do the 95% damage, switch on over to the scan bolt, and then try to take them out. And surprisingly, I was fairly successful with that, and I was even able to win some duels as well. You will see that throughout today's video. But even with that combination, it was it was still not a cakewalk. I, I found that because, well, I'm shooting at someone, I'm basically notifying my presence. They're gonna, they're gonna realize that someone is trying to take them out, move around to make themselves a harder target. They'll look in my direction, and while I'm switching on over to the crossbow and then trying to shoot at them, now because they're moving all over the place, if you've ever tried to kill someone with the crossbow and they're kind of bobbing up and down and trying to be a, a smaller target, it's not easy hitting with them. And there were a lot of times where I would find a camper, shoot at them, and then switch on over to the crossbow, get really anxious and try to quickly take them out. They would move at the last second. I wouldn't get the kill. They would turn around, see me, and then as I'm going through, fumbling through the animation, put a bunch of bullets in my face, and of course, I'm not getting the kill at that point. So it was kind of a lesson in and patience and then a combination of luck, skill, and ridiculousness. I found that Caspian Border was great for this challenge because I could use the foliage and the trees to kind of block line of sight and be stealthy and wait for someone to come by. And then I could kind of close the gap and go through all of the different random things that needed to align for me to get the kill. And when I finally was successful in taking someone out and the, and the planets aligned, I was yelling at my screen in excitement. I couldn't believe, well, I, I knew it was possible to kill someone with the scan bolt. I just didn't think I would be able to do it successfully and consistently with a kind of a tactic. And when it finally did happen, it was, it was amazing. Now, the main reason why you would want to use this is to spot enemies. You shoot this at a location and if it lands within 10 meters of an enemy, they're going to show up on the minimap. They are going to be spotted just like if you spotted them from normal. But what's awesome about this is if you know a capture point is being taken, but you're not exactly sure where the enemy is, you can just fire a bunch of scan bolts all over the place, fire them at key locations. They're going to be spotted. Now you have the advantage on them. I mean, it's, it's they're spotted just like normal. You can move around and then take them out. And it was it was kind of a pleasant surprise and I can even see myself using these on maps like the the aftermath DLC Grand Bazaar I can see this being very useful where enemies have a lot of cover and if you just fire a bunch of these off they're gonna be spotted on the minimap you don't have to use an MAV or a tugs or anything like that and it's surprisingly useful uh, but in general this was still a pretty ridiculous challenge and you guys knew it was going to be absurd when you guys suggested it and while there were still a lot of fun moments where especially when I was able to get in duels with players and then win those duels those were always amazing but just the fact that so many things had to align luck skill just a combination of ridiculousness it was it was a pretty absurd challenge uh, but that is about it for today's terrible weapon challenge guys I hope you enjoyed 
enjoyed. If you have a setup that you would like me to try next, let me know down below in the comments section. And also make sure to thumbs up the ones you would also like me to try. But until tomorrow, guys, have a good one and take it easy.